Okay, so I've got the NT on the side stand now. I'm going to, first I'm going to undo that bolt. And then after I undo that bolt, then I'm going to go over and open up the radiator cap. If I wait to open the radiator cap after I undo the bolt, I won't have to worry about as much fluid coming pouring out of here as I'm unscrewing it. So we're going to try it that way. This way I'm not having fluid flying out while I'm trying to undo the screw. So let's uh, let's take that bolt off. coming out. I'll let that drain out a little bit. I suspect it might be because I didn't cap off the Fingers aren't strong enough here, so keep working with the ratchet here. Washer here it has a little copper, little copper washer here. You're gonna want to probably, you, know, you can probably reuse these things, and they'll be fine. Honda recommends that this gets replaced, so I normally stock a couple of these every time I buy them. I buy five or ten of them, and uh, I can just throw a new one on when I'm filling up the, the next set. So it's drawing. I'm draining very slowly. So what I'll do is I'll come over here. Let me see if I can put this camera down. I'm gonna undo the radiator cap. You can see it really coming out now. So, by waiting to relieve, release that radiator cap until after I was done with the bolt, it wasn't coming out quite as rapidly, so it was a little bit more manageable. That's basically it. So now I wait, radiator cap, and just let it drain. Make sure you've gone to the bathroom before you do this, otherwise you might have a, an urge. So as that drains out, here's the old washer. And I have a new washer there. I have to order some more. Here's a new one. Like I said, you can probably reuse the old one. I've been able to reuse them before, but they don't cost that much, and it's not that much of a deal. Not that big of a deal. So if you're in a in a real hard, you forgot the forgot the Oreo one, you ran out. I'm sure you'll be fine.
I'm just going to let that drain out for the rest of the way. And then after it's fine, after it's finished with with that, we'll uh, we'll empty out the we'll empty out the um, reserve, the reservoir there. And it looks like it's almost done. So let's uh, let it drain out the rest of the way, and then we'll be back to to finish off the coolant reservoir. I went ahead and removed this lower piece here so you could see the water pump and the drain a bit more easily. There you can see the drain bolt. So you want to use the front one, not the back one. You don't want to use that one. This is the one you want right there. That cover is just held on by a couple of bolts. Obviously, I removed it. It just makes it easier to see the uh, those hoses right there. Go in that slot there. You've got three bolts that take that off. Okay, so it's finished draining. And so now I went ahead and reinstalled the bolt with the new washer. No need to tighten it really, really, uh, you don't want to torque on it too bad. Just, uh, just snug it up and give it a little bump, and it'll be all you need to do for that. So that's it. The system is drained. Now let's go look at the coolant reservoir and see what uh, what might be left of that. Well, it looks like when uh, when I drained the engine coolant, it siphoned out all the remaining coolant in the reservoir. So I don't see anything down in there. Looks completely empty. If it hadn't though, remove this bolt here, that bolt there, and you can pull this off and, and drain it. Or if you've got a, uh, a vacuum pump, you can, or you can steal your wife's turkey baster, you can put it down there and suck out all the, the remaining fluid. In my case, it looks like it, it's all drained out and uh, we're ready to, ready to basically start uh, prepping the bike for filling it back up. So basically Toyota says, or Toyota, Honda says to fill up the reservoir to the, to the upper position and then fill up the radiator fluid slowly until it gets to the top. Then with the radiator cap off, you start the bike, you run it for two to three minutes. You should start to feel the, uh, at least until the uh, thermostat kicks in and, and the system starts pumping in fluid. You snap the throttle three or four times, which should help purge any air in the system. And then you yeah, turn the bike off, you yeah, fill it back up to the, the top of the reservoir or to the top of the neck, put the cap on and you call it done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a U-View airlift tool, which I was explaining earlier that I used to on uh, my Goldwing and basically I'm going to draw a vacuum on the system and then put the end, another end of a tube into a big container of coolant and then when I release it it'll suck the coolant into the system filling the vacuum and that pretty much eliminates my need for needing to start the bike up and, and 
bleed the air out because it pretty much is air free once I do that. So I'll do that. I'll fill this up about halfway to the halfway or upper mark and then I'll call it done. So let's get a start on that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up. I've already got the, the device, uh, which you can see I need a little bit of extra play there to get this device on the, there we go, in order to get this device onto the, onto the radiator cap. And um, go ahead and poke up the rest of it and so we can get ready to draw a vacuum on it. <laughs> 